It may be days when Tavia will wake up and she don't like me, but she's still in love with me. You know, and before that day is over, we 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 we're in love with each other, and most important, we like each other. All right. Okay. Come on, let's crank this up, cause you know how I am. They get hot, I get irritable, then you ready to kick me out, go to divorce court and all that. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready to prepare dinner. Um, tonight's menu is tilapia, garlic bread, either smothered potatoes or french fries, depending on what Deb decides to do, and um, a shrimp tossed salad. We just like any couple that's in love, but we've been in love for 10 years. Yeah. And we have our ups and we have our downs. I'm going to school for a degree in education. Um, hopefully, once I complete the degree, I'll um, obtain a job teaching elementary students work with children who have special needs, special academic needs. I work at a, a company that produces plastic. Hopefully, with any luck, they'll be hiring me in full time. But right now, I'm there part time. We're trying to eat healthy now. <laughs> We're trying. Key word: trying. What drew me to Deborah is um, she's a quiet, a quiet person. Because of my personality, I think I needed a balance. I needed somebody to kind of balance me out because I'm a little rambunctious and I'm always bouncing off the walls. So she was the yin to my yang. They already the walked out. They already went somewhere. Where are they going to? Who knows? Yo kids. Switch. I like her personality and I enjoy listening to her. I enjoy when she used to sit down and read to me. She's genuinely nice and I'm truly grateful that she's in my life. We've been together for 10 years, married for four. Especially when you want something to last, you have to do it right. We, as they say, courted each other. We went on dates for what, about six or seven months before we officially said, yeah, this is us. What put the icing on top of the cake was the moment that Octavia walked down that aisleway. That was the most beautiful person that I have seen from the inside out. And all that beauty was showing on the outside for everybody else to see. But uh, that was a beautiful day. When it's time to spoil them, they're my kids, because I like to spoil them and buy stuff that they don't need, I guess. Right. I like them to earn the things they get. Ah, you only a kid so long, ain't enough time to earn really yeah. much. <laughs> you, you appreciate it more when you earn it. Earlier this year, um, Deb developed a, a blood clot in the upper part of her thigh. And so she went to the hospital and we did find out that it was a serious situation. Once we get past the fear of physical danger, then we look at it and we say, okay, financially, this could really push us. We was having problems with getting medical coverage for her. So we can't get assistance from the state. Income won't allow it. And because there are no domestic partnership rights. I can't add it to my insurance. We're like, okay, this is crazy. It's not fair, especially when each of us is paying taxes and doing mm. the right thing. Right. We are a good family here. We get up, we go to work. But if medical bills keep pulling us back, what is the outcome? I can go out there and say, whoop, nope, I'm not gay. I want to marry this man just to get his insurance. Then I'm living a lie. We're not asking for any special treatment. We're not asking for anything that heterosexual couples don't receive. You got two individuals here that love each other, that honor their love for each other, gets up and go to work, get up and, and pay taxes, do the bills, raise a family. Isn't that a marriage? God is good, God is great. Thank you for the food brought to us. Bless the hands, the maids be food. Both of them thank you, wonderful woman, for making the food for us. Truly from Jack, the name is just because of Amen. Amen. As I'm going by, Amen. There's some blessings going on over here.